were destroyed. Ah, uh, another year, another Call of Duty campaign. But this time it feels different. In years past, it felt like the COD campaigns were trying to be the fast and furious of gaming. If there wasn't massive explosions while surviving 100 foot falls like crash test dummies from Mythbusters, it didn't quite make the cut. Thank God Infinity Ward went full 180 and brought it back to something that felt real, plausible, and way more authentic. The story does follow a similar COD model where your initial threat is likely not the only villain with a twist sprinkled in that changes the course of the plot. You still get your typical mission styles that you've come to expect in a Call of Duty campaign with a couple of stealth, sniper, aerial, night vision, and balls to the wall missions within the campaign. I know what you're thinking. Dude, this sounds exactly like other Call of Duty campaigns. And I agree that the structure of the campaign is very familiar, but it's the delivery of the content that makes it the most compelling story Call of Duty has told in years. First and foremost, the biggest noticeable change is how everything revolves around the boots in the ground promise that they made. You're not going to encounter any missions or objectives that make you question how any human being could survive what they were asked to do. The mission pacing feels slower and deliberate, similar to how you would likely have to operate in these scenarios in real life. Clearing a house of enemies took more trigger discipline and tactics than campaigns past, which felt refreshing and not like an arcade shooter. Two other changes that added to the immersion and realism was the minimalist HUD and lack of music getting pumped into each mission. The minimalist HUD made a noticeable difference because you weren't relying on radar, gadgets, and crosshairs to eliminate targets. If your gun didn't have a sight, you didn't have a crosshair. If you didn't have a heartbeat sensor, you didn't know where the enemies were. There's no hit markers for downed enemies which added suspense if you didn't confirm your kill right away. The only hit markers that existed were for highly armored enemies which made sense for providing contextual feedback within the fight. Outside of the armor indication, stripping the HUD of all these assists let me feel like I was actually there and having to look out for my squad mates. Doubling down on the immersion was the lack of music within the duration of the missions. It was something that threw me off initially, but once I got used to the silence, I really began to like it. It's another small detail, but it made it feel more real because in the heat of battle, you're not hearing music build up around you for a big fight. You hear the silence of enemies hiding and it adds to the tension in the situation. Having that silence and focus be on the environment around you added an eeriness to the situations that felt lost in campaigns past. Going boots to the ground and creating these small details that made the immersion feel real was a much needed change to the over the top experience that we got used to. In campaigns of old you typically started each mission within a war room where you stare at a map and surveillance pictures while they debrief you on the mission at hand. With Modern Warfare 2 they ditched the war room and told a much more cohesive story. Each mission seamlessly blended together with cutscenes before and after the missions that made the story compelling and easy to understand the why behind our missions. The storytelling and visuals made the twists more jaw-dropping while making the cameos impactful and satisfying. The story isn't going to win an Emmy Award for Best Drama or anything, but it's the first campaign that felt like I was watching an interactive movie with rewarding payoffs. It's worth mentioning that this is also the most gorgeous Call of Duty campaign I've ever seen. There were moments within the game that I stopped and admired how stunning the world was around me. Graphics aren't everything, but it added to the feeling of experiencing an interactive movie and feeling like we are in places like Amsterdam and Mexico. Overall, this is the best campaign I've played in the last three to five years of Call of Duty campaigns. Bringing the missions back to earth literally and figuratively made for a compelling and realistic story that left me enjoying every minute of it. The added cutscenes and seamless transition from one mission to the next made the story and implications more meaningful and impactful, which was missing in past campaigns. If you enjoy Call of Duty for more than just Warzone or multiplayer, then you'll be in for a wonderful surprise with Modern Warfare 2's campaign. If you enjoyed the review, please drop a like on the video, and if you don't want to miss out on future reviews and content, go ahead and tap that subscribe button as well. You are all amazing, and I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give me. This is Josh Robinson with Joystick Gamer. Thanks again, and stay gaming out there.